It's a battle over a single pipeline, but the Premier of Alberta says the stakes are much higher than that. There are those out there who are at this point calling this moment that we are in a, a constitutional crisis for the country. The reverberations of that will tear at the fabric of Confederation for many, many years to come. Tearing at the fabric of the country and at the credibility of a Prime Minister who has heavily backed this project. This is a pipeline in the national interest and it will get built. That's been the position, but nobody, including Trudeau, will say exactly how Ottawa will make that happen. We're considering a broad range of options and uh, will continue to uh, as, uh, as the days and weeks unfold. But there aren't many days and weeks left. Kinder Morgan has set May 31st as a potential drop-dead date for the project. The uncertainty caused by this dispute has made shareholders anxious. Nothing is off the table. Reassuring Kinder Morgan seems to be the focus right now. Ottawa believes the law and the Constitution is on its side. Protesters and the B.C. government can stall and delay the pipeline, but they can't stop it. Ottawa just needs to keep Kinder Morgan committed to the project while it stares down its opponents. This is reckless economic behavior for Canada. But and, and, Canada. and that the consequences are that uh, there will be investor confidence problems. Well, certainly from my perspective, we're doing exactly what we need to do. The Premier has been very clear. We're standing up for BC's interests. We but BC politicians aren't flinching. The protesters aren't going away, making an appearance just days ago when the Prime Minister visited B.C. and later Alberta to support the pipeline. Trudeau likes to say the environment and the economy can work together. The problem now is that B.C. and Alberta won't. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.